Hi, and welcome to this episode of Sergeant Spray Gun. Today I'll be painting a couple of mirrors that belong to a 1970 Mustang that I painted a week or so ago, probably closer to two weeks ago. It's already been sent home, and uh, here I am just finishing up a couple of parts that I forgot to paint. Uh, so I'm going to get these painted so that they can go home with the car. I'm testing out my new GoPro camera. And also I'm testing out a new video editing program. So I wasn't able to learn how to use any of this before I painted the car. Which I was hoping to do so I could actually make a video of painting the car. But that will have to wait until the next job so here I am just videotaping myself painting a couple of mirrors I am using a Technopro light with the TE20 air cap it is normally used for clear coat but I'm using it for base and clear since it's such a small job and or something like this, I can get the PE20 to spray like an HPLP <coughs> simply by just reducing the air pressure and just uh, getting the green on there. So here I am just uh, making the mirrors green for now with some Spandox solvent based base coat. Just getting the mirrors green. The base coat goes on, not shiny at all. It, it shines a little bit if you put it on wet, uh, but it has to dry in between coats. And the only objective uh, here with the, the base coat is to just get the color on the parts. You're not trying to get any sort of shine. If you're trying to get shine, you're going to get runs. And if you're getting runs in base coat, then you really need to take a step back and learn how to paint. The gun's choked down quite a bit. Uh, got it set almost like a minigun. The fan pattern is closed up to probably less than half full width and the fluid needle is barely open so that if I do pull the trigger all the way then uh, only only the needed amount of paint will come out. I'm not trying to paint a full car or any large parts, so I've pretty much got it set up like a minigun. Choke down. You can actually take a full size gun like this and choke it down quite a bit to where it, it's almost like a airbrush. I really do like this Technopro light. Normally I would spray something like this with a minigun, but uh, I just want to use my Technopro light. It's new to me, the feel is new, and I just want to get used to it, so trying to transition away from my GTI Pro and my GTI, I'm sorry, my GTI Millennium and my GTI Plus or DeVilvis Plus, which are uh, DeVilvis guns, obviously, but they're they're just they're older guns. They're heavier. They're not as comfortable. They're not as ergonomic. Ergo, ergon. They're not as comfortable. Here I am mixing up some clear. This part of the video I've fast forwarded or or increased the speed since there's really not that much interesting about mixing clear coat up. Depending on the clear, this is a low solids clear. The ratio is four parts clear, one part activator. You can add a little bit of reducer if you'd like, which is what I'm adding now. Up to 5%, which isn't much since I'm only mixing up four or five ounces of clear. So that's why I poured the reducer in the, in the cap so I don't accidentally put too much in it. 
the four or five ounces that I did mix here is uh, about twice as much as I'll need, but mixing less quantity than that is uh, not not that easy unless you got like, tablespoons and stuff. I'm using a three ounce cup on the Technopro Light, which is great for a job this size. There's no need in using a collapsible nine ounce or 24 ounce liner for something this small. The Decups is uh, the Decups cup system is is pretty awesome. It comes with different size collapsible uh, gun cups and liners. You can spray upside down with those if you want. It also comes with those little three ounce cups that you see on the the gun, which aren't collapsible, but they're nice and small, and they hold you know just the right amount of paint for the job this size. Area I'm putting on first coat of clear. I'm going to go ahead and put three coats of clear on these uh, just because I've got more than enough to do so. Normally, on mirrors that I don't intend to polish, I just put two coats. If you'll notice on the first coat of clear, I'm not trying to get any clear coat inside the mirror cavity. I'll I'll do that on the second and third coat. Area I'm putting on the second coat of clear. On this coat of clear, I will get inside the mirror cavities, which is the part that sits behind the actual glass or the mirror itself, which I'm doing right now. got to be careful not to put too much clear on just enough to get it shiny that's it not enough and you'll get dry spots too much to get run the driver's mirror has some remote cables that I wasn't able to take apart so I had to take apart as much as I could and suspend it in such a way that the parts are separated and one of the bad things about painting something that's hanging like this is the air turbulence from the spray gun will tend to cause the parts to swing a little bit, which can make it hard to paint. You can minimize that by choking down the gun and, and causing the gun to behave or spray like a minigun because it requires less air pressure because you're trying to uh, push less product to the fluid needle uh, and also using a smaller fan pattern. Since I'm on the third coat, I just sped up this portion of the video. It's a little bit redundant. So I just went in fast motion here on the end on the third coat of clear. There we go. That's it. Three coats of clear. Technopro light, baby. Thumbs up. Or one in the pink, one in the stink, or whatever the hell they say about that. Yeah. Okay. Right, let me let me double check it though. Yeah,